Website pop-ups can be annoying, but they've also been proven to be effective at increasing signups. What would definitely be annoying is if we kept seeing the same pop-up every time we refreshed or changed the page. Well, what if there was a way that we could show a pop-up to a user only once, and once they've seen it, they won't see it again? Well, there is a way, and I've made a Webflow clonable to make it 10 times easier. So in today's video, we will go through the process of copying the pop-up to our website and adding custom code to make it only show once across all pages. And with all that time saved, we will then have time to go through the best ways that you can prune your bonsai tree. So let's jump straight in. So here's the Webflow clonable that you can clone to your own account. And once you've done that, you can open up the project. And what we're gonna do is copy this pop-up symbol. So I'll copy this, I'll go back into my project, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the pop-up in the navigation. That way it shows up on every single page without me having to copy and paste it across every page. So I'll double click on the symbol and I'll paste that in. And the only other thing we're going to need to reconnect is the interactions of the exit button and also the uh, overlay. So we'll click on the exit button, we'll go to interactions. And when I click on that, we will say that it will close the pop-up. And we'll select the pop-up overlay and change display to none. And we're going to add that same interaction to the overlay. And we'll super quickly test that. That's working. And so is that. Now we can style the inside of the card however we want to and change the content to match our website. And when we've done that and it's looking good to us, we're going to hide the pop-up. We'll make sure we have the pop-up overlay selected and we'll change it to hidden. Now we can click outside of our navigation. The only other thing we need to do is add in some custom code. So we'll go into our project settings so that the code is used across all of the pages. Go to custom code. We're going to get our custom code and paste it in the footer code. And I'll leave a link to the custom code in the description below, but you can also find it in the clonable under the instructions. Now the only thing we're going to pay attention to here is this number here. Now this is how long that it's going to take until the pop-up shows up. So currently it's set to 10 seconds, but we can change this to any amount of time that we want. Now we don't want it to be too short, because if I land on a website and immediately get a pop-up, I'm not going to read it. But we can make it super long such as 20 to 30 seconds. And that way, if a user leaves the website and comes back, only then they'll see the pop-up. But I'm gonna leave this at 10 seconds and I'll save the changes. I'll publish my site. And it'll open up an incognito page to test that it's working. Now we're going into incognito because that way it won't save our cookies. So we can test this as many times as we want by closing the incognito browser and reopening it up again. And now that we've waited long enough, here we have our pop-up. We can click outside our pop-up and go to a different page, go to a different page, and now we can wait, and the pop-up won't show up. And the reason that it's not going to show up is because in our custom code, we've told it to only add the cookie once the pop-up is actually displayed. For the same reason, if I browse the website for the first time and I go to many different pages, the pop-up won't show up until I've actually stopped on a page for 10 seconds. This way, no matter what page they're on, they'll still see the pop-up, but they're only going to see it once. So there we have it, a simple pop-up modal that we've added to our website in just a couple of minutes. If you found this helpful or you have any video requests, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out and email me. Otherwise, since we've saved so much time, let's look at the best ways that you can prune your bonsai tree. Now, there are a couple of different